when you're being humbled, when Hashem is taking you seriously and helps you to understand how weak you are, how zero you are, how nothing you are, how only His mercy can save you and can redeem you, it's a gift. It's not a punishment. Because in that humble place, now you have the vessel to contain the bounty of the wisdom of truth. Now in that time when you're humble, when you realize that every good thing that you have in your life is a gift, a free gift from heaven, from the desert you received it as a free gift, then you have the vessel to receive the Torah. You will know what to do with the gifts that you will receive. When a person is arrogant, when a person is, 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 is vain, he cannot handle purity. He cannot handle faith. Even if he is learning verses, those verses are confusing him. Those verses bring arrogance into his heart and twisting him. And when he's coming back home, like we explained last week in the class, he's coming back home after sitting for hours in the Beit Midrash and learning, and then what he's doing with all of his knowledge? Arguing with his wife and fighting with her and rebuking her. How come she didn't do that? And why she didn't thought about that? And why she didn't prepare the candles? And why he needs to come and things are not ready? And why the, there's no sufganiyot? And what's going on? And where is my slippers? That's not the path. That's not the right way. When a person is selfish and self-centered, he will never have the merit, will never have the privilege to enjoy the wisdom of truth, even if he will sit and learn for 20 hours every day, even if he will own a Beit Midrash, even if he will be the chief rabbi of his community, if he is self-centered, if he's selfish, if he wants to receive pleasure and honor and respect from his followers, from his people, from his friends, from his family, from his students, he will never experience real spirituality. Maybe he will think that he is spiritual. Maybe he will feel that he is spiritual. Maybe he will lie and pretend to himself maybe or to his people that he is spiritual. But he will never really going to experience spiritual experiences. Because those are coming only to those ones that are completely humble. Completely humble are those ones that are able to respect everyone else to appreciate the good points in other people, that they judge everyone favorably, that they don't criticize other people, that they're not executing and killing and destroying people because that their faith is a little bit different, because that their understanding is contradicting your, your assumptions. He is not fighting against other people. He just holds the truth, and the truth is the truth of the Creator. And how you can hear the truth of the Creator? Who is that wise person that will have that wisdom to receive the complete knowledge? The Talmud, the Mishnah is telling us, Ezeu Chacham, who is the wise person? Halomed Mikol Adam, the one that is ready to learn from every other person. From everyone you can learn, from an animal you can learn, from the behavior of, of animals in nature you can learn. It's written, Chochma Bagoim Ta'amin. If you see wisdom between the nations, you see people acting wisely, you should believe, you should learn from them. There is much to learn from the nations. Subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com.